I'm Rob of Precision Zone and we're going to be doing a quick static check on Yaskawa's CIMR G7 series of inverters. Now after the drive has been powered off and sitting for some time, the charge lamp on the bottom corner here should go out once the DC bus has been discharged and we're going to go ahead and verify that it has been discharged with our digital multimeter using the DC function. So we're going to take the negative side of the digital multimeter, place it on the negative side of the DC bus, and then the positive side on the positive side of the DC bus. And it looks like we're getting about 0.7 volts, which is fine. I wouldn't proceed any farther if we had anything more than one volt. I would just sit and wait some more time. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to see if any of the inputs or outputs are shorted to ground. So let's go ahead and place our digital multimeter to the resistance function. Now we're going to go ahead and take the negative side of the digital multimeter and place it on a good ground and go between R, S, and T in U, V, and W, making sure that none of the phases are shorted. This will be a good ground right here. And we'll go between R, S, T, and U, V, and W. So now that we can verify that none of the inputs or outputs are shorted to ground, we can go ahead and move into checking the input and output transistor module. And for this test, we're going to want to go ahead and place our digital multimeter in the diode function. Now we're going to take the negative side of our digital multimeter and place it on the positive side of the DC bus. And we're going to take our positive probe and go between R, S, and T. It's like 0.47, 0.48, 0.46. Now we're going to go ahead and switch the leads and take the positive side of the multimeter and place it on the negative side of the DC bus. And then with the negative probe, check between R, S, and T again. 0 0.46, 0 0.46, and 0.46. Now this is great. The inputs check perfectly fine. They're within the range of 0.2 and 1 volt, but most importantly, they're balanced across all three phases. So now we're going to go ahead and check the outputs at U, V, and W using the exact same method. We're going to take the positive probe, put it on the negative side of the DC bus, go between U, V, and W, about 0.36, switch the leads, and go between U, V, and W again, 0 0.37, 0 0.37, and 0 0.37. So that's great, this drive is statically checking just fine. And if this is happening to you and you still have a problem, please give us a call here at Precision Zone. We'd be love to walk you through more troubleshooting. We perform free evaluations and we provide 12 month warranties on the G7 inverter repair. Thanks for watching.